Good afternoon and happy Monday. Thank you for joining. It's good to be together again. Before we have our devotion, I have a few short announcements. This Sunday, June 28th, is the day. It is our first day of coming back together to worship face-to-face. We are so excited, and we hope you are planning to join us. We know there are some who won't be joining us because they feel they are vulnerable, but for those who are anxious to get back, we are anxious to see you. So, Um, At 9 a.m., we will have our contemporary service out in the amphitheater. At 11 a.m., we will have our traditional service in the sanctuary. Mask will be required for everyone, so please bring your mask. We will have a few available if you forget yours, but please bring your mask. We also will require uh, some sort of check-in, so be prepared for that. If you're planning to come to the 9 a.m. outdoor service, two quick notes. If it happens to rain, we will meet inside in the old sanctuary, St. Clair Hall. Also, uh, seating on the benches will be limited because we have to, we'll have to skip a row, and so it'll be socially distanced. So seating will be limited. So bring your camp chair, your picnic blankets, whatever, uh, so that you'll be sure to have a good place to sit. Volunteers are needed. I have been working on lining up our ushers and other volunteers that we need. And what I have found, my biggest need right now is ushers for the 11 o'clock service. So if you can help with that, if you can help with that, please let me know. Please let me know because I am working on that now. Ushering will be a little simpler in some ways, maybe a little bit, a little different in other ways, but uh, it's not a hard job. It's something you can do. So please let me know if you can help with that. Our devotion today comes from the 86th Psalm. I've been thinking recently about trouble. It is an inescapable part of life. And in fact, there's a verse in Psalm 90 that says, 70 years are given to us, some even live to 80, but even the best years are filled with pain and trouble. Wow, that's encouraging, isn't it? (laughs) So trouble is just part of everyone's life. Uh, There's things we experience, forms of trouble that we experience on a personal level, Uh, things like illness, job loss, uh, other, you know, things related to our career, relationship issues, things uh, within our family. And then there's things we experience on a uh, big group level, societal level, things that affect many people at one time. For example, recently, the COVID-19 and then the racial tensions we've been experiencing. So um, at those times when we face trouble, prayer seems like the natural logical thing to do. But if you're like me, sometimes I feel like I don't know what to pray. I don't know what to say. I don't even know what to ask for sometimes. So today I'd like to call this devotional, What to Pray When You Don't Know What to Pray. Recently during my morning quiet time, I was reading Psalm 86 and I I stumbled on this verse. I'm sure I've read it before, but this time it really popped out at me. Verse 11, I will call to you when I am in trouble and you will answer me. Wow, that's a powerful statement of faith and of confidence. And so as I was looking further at that passage and looking at what came before it and looking what came after it and trying to fit that verse into the context of the whole chapter, I realized that that chapter is filled with lots of wonderful verses, lots of wonderful prayers that we can pray at those times when we don't know what to pray. Uh, Within the context of that chapter, there are 13 different statements, 13 different ways of asking for God's help. So whatever you're going through, whether it be something on a personal level that's just affecting you or maybe just you you and your little family, or maybe if it's something on a big level, uh, something that's affecting lots of people, it's affecting our society, there are things in this chapter that apply. So I encourage you sometime soon, take time to read through this chapter. But for now, listen to these 13 statements, these 13 things that you can pray when you don't know what to pray. Bend down, Lord, and hear my prayer. Answer me. Protect me. Save me. 
Be merciful to me. Give me happiness. Listen closely to my prayer. Hear my urgent cry. Teach me your ways. Grant me purity of heart. Look down on me and have mercy. Give your strength to your servant. Send me a sign of your favor. So you see, that's a variety of different statements that could be applied to a variety of different situations. And in those situations, those troubles that we face that aren't just personal but affect many people, we can always change it, change the me's to we or to us. Save us. Teach us your ways. Be merciful to us. So whatever you are going through today, I, I don't know what it is. I know what I'm going through, the challenges that I'm facing, but I'm not sure what yours are. But whatever they are, I encourage you to look at the Psalms. Always let the Psalms be your go-to for times of comfort, times of, of seeking direction, times of, of, of uh, being guided in prayer. But also, particularly this particular Psalm, Psalm 86, uh, which is a wonderful guide for calling out to God in times of trouble. So will you pray with me now? Almighty God, you are our refuge and our ever-present help in times of trouble. And Father, you know the troubles we face. And you know how often we feel like we face troubles. Father, we ask that you would help us and teach us and show us your ways and help us to learn to cry out to you first, not last, but first, and to instinctively go to you in prayer during those times of trouble. Through Jesus we pray. Amen. Well, have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.